Join me weekly for Experience Galveston for ideas of what to see and do on beautiful Galveston Island. Today on Experience Galveston, we're visiting with historian Sam Collins to get a quick tour of the NIA Cultural Center Juneteenth Legacy Project headquarters right here on the Strand. Sam, one of the things you've always said is I want people to realize African American history is American history. And you've been pivotal in sharing this story, especially here in Galveston and as related to Juneteenth. So tell us a little, a little bit about where we are today. We are at the Neo Cultural Center and Juneteenth Legacy Project headquarters. And this space we uh, came into around Memorial Day weekend uh, last year, uh, right before the Juneteenth activities and it is to help expand the narrative around the African-American history and Galveston history here in Galveston. So we're in front of the painting by Chase Sampe, uh, the Juneteenth painting. Uh, she originally did a sketch for us for the mural outside and then artist Reginald Adams and the creatives expanded that sketch to give us the mural that uh, absolute equality that's on the side of the old Galveston Square building on the corner of 22nd and Strand, the southwest corner. But in this space, we expand the narrative of the story of the journey of freedom. We have featured artists in, in addition to Chase Sampe. Ted Ellis is the main featured artist. Uh, probably 80 to 85 percent of the paintings are his. Uh, he has a traveling exhibit, the Juneteenth Freedom Project. And then we also have Eddie Fowler, uh, who's another painter. Earl Jones is a sculptor that has some wood carvings uh, that are here. Uh, Matthew John Batiste is another artist featured uh, here in the space. So we want to highlight local artists and also national artists like Mr. Ellis. So we're open Tuesday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. on weekends by appointment. And hopefully soon we will be open Saturday and Sunday, 12 uh, to 6 o'clock. Uh, we have uh, Miss Amari Rowe, who is here throughout the week. Uh, she is a young artist and a young college student that works here at the Juneteenth Legacy Project headquarters in the Neo Cultural Center. So we want you to come over, see some of the art, and expand the narrative of our shared history. Uh, this African American history is Galveston history, Texas history, American history, and world history. Uh, many individuals have not seen some of the uh, information that we have. We have uh, books that are what I call our weapons of mass destruction. And these uh, weapons that we use combat ignorance, false narratives, and darkness by shedding light and truth with primary source documents that tell the full story of some of the events of our past, not just the tragic things, but some of the successful stories like Henry Sigler, a free black man that lived here in Galveston that patented a fishing hook in 1854. Stories of George T. Ruby, a uh, state senator elected here in Galveston in 1869. There are many positive stories that individuals don't know, and we try to share that here in this space to expand the narrative around this shared history. Well, and we're in an, also in a significant location. So mm -hmm. tell us about what, what was next door uh, yeah. So on the southwest corner of 22nd and Strand was the location of the Union headquarters where General Gordon Granger set up uh, his headquarters with Major Frederick Emory. F Frederick Emory is actually the one that signed and wrote General Order Number 3. Granger was in charge, so he was the officer in charge. He had issued General Orders 1 and 2, and then Emory issued 3, 4, and 5, 3 being what is commonly referred to as the Juneteenth Order, General Order Number 3, freeing the enslaved people of Texas. So in this 2200 block of the Strand is very historic uh, locations. Uh, the o Osterman Building, or Osterman Building, is no longer there because it was hit by a tornado in 1961. But we have the old Galveston Square Building still here, and we're in Suite 101. So the very first doors, after you turn the corner from the mural, we invite you in to learn more of this history. Thanks so much, Sam. And where can people go for more information? For more information, they can visit www.JuneteenthLegacyProject.com. So JuneteenthLegacyProject.com or the neocultural.org. Thank you for joining me for Experience Galveston. Remember to submit your ideas to I-45 Now and Galveston Now and find us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube.